incredibly welcoming, incredibly warm. It was the sense of community in Old North that originally attracted me to the neighborhood. So when I moved back to St. Louis, um, post after graduating from WashU, I, I moved away briefly. and I came back, um, I knew I wanted to get a house and rehab it. So I decided that it would be best to first shop for the neighborhood and then shop for the house. So we found a place that uh, was, was in pretty good shape. It had been maintained and lived in for its entire history. It had never been sitting vacant. It was perfectly livable, so we, we moved, could move right in and start working on it as we were living in it. We ended up doing a, a gut rehab room by room, which was a fairly inefficient process and a slow process. It's a lot on um, energy conservation, so we put in quite a bit of insulation just to, to make the envelope of the house a lot tighter, so it's passively more efficient. Put in a number of skylights, so uh, I can significantly reduce on the need for electric light during the day, put in more efficient building systems, used uh, renewable materials like blue jean, recycled blue jean insulation, and um, I've used a lot of reclaimed materials. A lot of old bits and pieces of St. Louis and old bits and pieces of this house that, that um, have been incorporated into the rehab. So there's a small bathroom uh, that I spent more hours working on than any other room in the house. And it turned out great, but um, it just has a lot of interesting angles. <clears throat> it's got a ceiling that lofts up, and um, I did some interesting things with different materials within this space. So it was uh, at times just dizzying how many hours I was spending in this tiny, tiny little room, but it's now probably my favorite room in the house. Now is the uh, almost 10 year resident of the neighborhood, I really have found that what I felt is very true, that there's a great social fabric in the neighborhood and it just continues to get stronger. That said, uh, it's within the context of a neighborhood that really has been, it's been on a slow and steady track of revitalization. From the environmental sustainability perspective, uh, there are seeds of change. There's some really positive things that are starting to happen. I believe that we, we need to think much bigger, much more boldly um, we're investing in bike lanes and other transportation infrastructure, which is good, but I'd like to see a, a very broad, comprehensive vision for um, infrastructure that supports residents of the city being car-free. Just like our whole city, Old North exists because of the river. The Trestle Project is one of those opportunities, and Great Rivers Greenway has, has really been thinking outside of the box. Um, it's an elevated bikeway that uh, starts in the southern part of Old North and it crosses the highway, so it's a great way to get across the highway without um, having to go under it or actually pass it in a car. It will be designed as a bikeway or walking way, um, so really uh, great connection potential. And it ends up actually landing at street level again at Branch Street. So Branch and the trestle together can make this really exciting ring, bicycle and pedestrian ring, that connects the neighborhood center to the river. We're a very divided city. We're very white and black. We have strong uh, lines of segregation. And demographically, Old North is about, I believe about 70% black, 30% white. Although race relations are imperfect, they're strong, much stronger, I think, in Old North than in a lot of other neighborhoods.